7.30 in the morning. I haven't done any uh, videos, really, for two reasons. Um, for one, I've been working like crazy. You know, I just, I haven't, uh, I've been working like crazy. I started work last Wednesday, and I haven't had really a day off. I had Saturday and Sunday off. But I haven't really had a day off until today. Uh, today is Wednesday. And uh, the other reason I haven't really done a video is because I, my, I don't know who lost it. Somebody lost it. The USB cord that charges the GoPro. <laughs> so, and I only had one. You know, cheap me. I didn't buy one. So, I yesterday... I went out, went out to Fred Myers and I bought a charger for the GP for the GoPro and uh, what else did I to buy? Oh yeah, uh, I bought a. I'll just tell you guys. I'm just gonna give you an update on everything. So this might be a long video, but uh, there's so much stuff I gotta cover in it. I bought this cheap. Uh, it's an air, it's a pneumatic uh, grease gun. So I'm gonna finish greasing the truck today. My other grease gun broke on me. I don't know what happened to it, but something broke. Not working. I think the 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 plunger thing. I went to go change the tube, and the plunger thing somehow disassembled and missing a nut or whatever I don't know this one doesn't even have a nut on the end so I don't know what happened to it but anyways I it was time for me to buy an air one I was gonna buy a battery one but I just didn't have the money for one yet those are pretty expensive um what else what else what else what else okay uh I'll just show you some stuff on the truck that I did that I fixed um Oh, I better unlock those. I better unchain that. I was doing gravel the other day. There was a few spots on the bed that I had to weld up cuz it was kind of cracked. So before it got worse, you can see the little welds on there. Yeah, they're just tiny welds. I can't remember if I showed you guys I had to weld in these little lips right here because gravel would have fell out right there where both of the gates are. Um, you already know about the license plates, obviously, because I've been running it. Uh, one of the issues that I just encountered is this, the wheel seal on this drop axle blew out. So I got to change everything on that. Um, my first day of work, guys, my first day of work and my second day of work, I had no charger, like the, the, the cigarette lighter right there did not work. Um, on the second day, I kind of got smart though, and I brought a jumper wire with me because I, the first day I worked. 16 hours 12 hours on the ticket but about 16 hours because i had to drive you know four hours basically two hours to the job and two hours back i'm gonna set you guys right there actually you know what i'll take you out and put you in I'm gonna eat some fudge while I'm talking to you. Um, the, uh, yeah, so I brought a jumper wire with me. I'll show it to you. It's jammed underneath here. This stuff, anyway. Oh, man. I just broke it. Okay, whatever. I won't show it to you. Uh, basically, it's just a wire with two alligator clips on it. But, um, 
Yeah, I, well, I used that, and what I did was I, I jumped from the tarp. There's a power wire on the tarp switch that I got right here. I jumped that to the back of the, uh, the lighter because there wasn't any power to it. So that's how I did that. But now I got a more permanent solution. I uh, made a uh, an actual wire and I did the heat shrink and all that jazz. But uh, that's spliced in from the tarp because that's where I got the power from, from the tarp motor. So let's see. Uh, on my third day of work, second or third day of work, I think it was my third day, I broke my CB antenna. The guys on the job site uh, accidentally bumped a wire and it pulled it down and I was trying to wiggle the stupid antenna so I could get underneath it without it, you know, breaking or whatever and it broke. I was trying to wiggle it and I broke it. So, um, one of the guys I work with, uh, one of the other drivers, he's the guy that got me kind of the work. Super awesome guy, uh, Pat. And uh, he uh, he gave me one of his. He had a spare antenna. Like, who carries spare antennas? <laughs> like, I never thought that would be something to carry, you know. But anyways, he had a spare antenna. So I put that on there, and we were able to keep keep running, you know, no problem. Um, I ended up buying another antenna, same size, short antenna, and I also bought an antenna spring. I sh I'll show it to you in a little bit. I got you clipped into the dash. Um, yeah, so he let me borrow his antenna. Got that clipped in. Um... I've been learning so much. Like, how to get to pits, how to get in, get your tear weight, how to, you know, talk on the CB a little bit. You know, there's certain things you want to say. You know, like, I just went to a a rock quarry the other day and when you're going to it there's like it's like a two lane gravel road but it's so mounded that you really shouldn't drive two trucks side by side the whole you can't really drive two trucks side by side the whole way it's kind of those it's a one lane road and you pull over so you know you both can squeeze past each other and then you get back in the center and um they got what's called a call out sheet so, you know, you're, you're like, I'm inbound, uh, going past Duck Pond or whatever, you know, something like that. And, uh, it's kind of cool, you know, it's crazy. It gives you like a cowboy feel, you know, you're like, well, you know, is somebody going to come ra flying around that corner fully loaded, you know? So, you know, it's for safety, you know, so you don't run into each other, you know, none of that stuff happens. Um, yeah, so I learned the truck, the tear weight on this truck is, uh, I know a lot of you guys have wanted to know this, 24,700 pounds. So that's the lightweight. Um, I, I've had it down to 20, 24,600, but I was probably like half empty on fuel or something, or I don't know. Um, so yeah, um, oh yeah, another thing that I had to buy because I had put it off, well I didn't put it off, I was trying to take this stupid phone mount, you know, like these, I, I don't know if you can see it, I'll show you, I'll take it out, okay, you know the phone mounts, I had to buy one of those because I was taking it out of my truck and I broke it. Like I was just trying to peel it off, but it's kind of got the sticky stuff on it. It's not only suction, it's got the sticky, sticky stuff on it. 
and it broke. So I had to buy one of those. I gotta buy another one for my pickup truck. And then, um, oh yeah, I can show you the antenna now. Now I got a nice spring on there, you know, so. That's how that works. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for now, so far. Just checking everything. The front wheel seal that I did on this is, has been good so far. It hasn't leaked on me yet. So I must have installed it right. Um, oh yeah, one thing I need to do is I need to get some chain and figure out how, how long it needs to be so I can lay the gate down. Um, that way I can haul brush easier because I was hauling brush one day and got stuck in the back and I had to have the guy in the loader come over and set his bucket on the brush and then I had to pull forward and we got it all out but it was, it was really bushy stuff and when he got stuck that sucked I hauled some concrete it wasn't that bad I mean it was over so fast like I didn't know what to really think but you gotta be careful with concrete because You gotta kinda let it go out slow, but at the same time, you don't wanna sit still. Cause if it piles up right here, it could rip your airlines off and it'll mess your stuff up right there. You know, cause it starts to pile up and then chunks fall down the pile and hit your stuff. So. So yep, that's kind of where we're at right there. Pound that like button, pound that subscribe button, comment, share this on your social media side of preference. Busy, um, which I'm very thankful for. There's a lot of guys that have, you know, kind of taken me under their wing. And you know, whenever I had a question or something, I can just call them and ask them. They've been helping me out and I really feel blessed and uh you know we're doing we're doing pretty good the dream is it's it's coming true you know yeah we had a we had a good first solid week um and uh yeah i just want to say thank you guys for all you guys watching it and, you know sharing this and doing all that jazz and Sorry I didn't give you an update sooner. Um, but yeah, I got I got a one video clip from my first day and then the GoPro battery died and it's been dead since then. So I mean that's all I really got. I, I'll I'll get some more footage of me on the job site and stuff. I just don't wanna bust out my camera on like the first or second day and have everybody all pissed off, you know. I don't know if they would or not, but you know I'm you gotta be, you gotta be on the cautious side. You know what I mean. But yeah, that's it, guys. So pound that like button and pound that subscribe button, and I will catch you later.